Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground where we apply law of attraction in practical and magical ways to get you in alignment both in business and in life so you can have more money in the bank and get a whole lot more done with ease. Are you starting to resent your money? Maybe just a little bit. Do you find that you look at your banking or you open your bills or you look at your finances in general and you're really starting to feel like you hate your money, like your money's letting you down, like it's just not there for you. So I want to just talk about that for a moment because that can really start to gather some serious momentum and take you down a very negative spiral. And of course, the problem with that is that it then attracts even more of the same. So the thing with it is that as you start focusing on the lack of money, even if it's just a momentary thing where maybe a client cancels and you'd already spent the money in your mind. So suddenly you start going into this lack mentality. When you start focusing on the lack of money, then law of attraction actually grabs a hold of that and starts to build more and more and more of the same. You start having more negative thoughts, more thoughts of what's going wrong, more thoughts of bills that are coming in and maybe not quite enough money to pay them, more things of, more ideas of things that you're not, uh, that you're having to go without because there's not enough money. It just builds and builds and builds momentum. And as it does, law of attraction grabs a hold of that on all these different levels so it starts with thoughts but thoughts become things law of attraction grabs a hold of your thoughts and before you know it you have started creating some actual things in your experience more bills more cancellations more blah 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 that then proves to you that those thoughts were right because you know what when thoughts become things, you will always prove yourself right. Whether you think you're abundant and there's plenty of money in your life, or whether you think that there's never enough money and there's always another bill to gobble up whatever money came in. No matter, as Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you will be right. Because law of attraction will prove you right. If you don't believe there is such a thing as law of attraction, Law of attraction will prove you right in that instance as well. I know, that's how it works. You have to understand that law of attraction grabs a hold of your thoughts, which then start to build momentum. And eventually the reality in our 3D form around us starts to follow suit. But it starts with your thinking and with your emotions. And all of those gather momentum. So it's not just at the physical level, it is at all these different levels of your being that law of attraction will grab a hold of things. So if you're starting to resent your money, you need to understand that that's going to keep building momentum and that's going to become a really strong pattern. And that pattern will also show up, of course, on the physical level in how you're interpreting and interacting with the money in your life. So what I invite you to do is this. Take the money habit archetype quiz, which will tell you whether your money habit archetype, the way that you're on, on the physical plane interacting with your money, whether it's a spender, overextender, or accumulator pattern. Now that is just the habit archetype. That is the presentation of how your relationship with money and the stories and the momentum you've got going in the thoughts that you've been thinking which become the stories that you believe and you then live out, that's just the physical representation of those thoughts and stories. Your money habit archetype is how it shows up in your day-to-day -day interaction with money and how you kind of handle your money. But the best part is that after you do the quiz, I can then email you some really powerful questions specific to your money habit archetype that will help you start to unravel some of those stories so that you can break that pattern and get out of that cycle that says, see, there's never enough money and you start to hate your money. So by then 
unraveling those old stories, it means you can break that old cycle and start to build a really beautiful new cycle where instead of resenting your money, you start to love and appreciate your money and build positive momentum around that. And as you keep building that positive momentum, you keep seeing more evidence of how wonderful your money is, how supportive it is, how much of it you have in your life and how it always shows up in the perfect ways at the perfect time and it's there and it's got your back. And as you build positive momentum on that, your whole reality will change. It starts by noticing that these patterns are there, starting to look into what is going on there, what is this money habit archetype, why am I resenting my money, and then digging deeper to unravel the old stories that have been perpetuating that pattern. So hop to it, do the quiz. I'd love to find out what your money habit archetype is, and then I'd love to hear what you got out of it after you dived deeper into the specific questions around what's created that money habit archetype because that is where the absolute gold lies. So please come back and leave me a comment in the description, in the comments below, because I'd love to hear about it. Hop to it, do the quiz, do the questions. It's going to give you so much amazing insight. And until next time, keep embracing your beautiful and unlimited potential. Bye-bye.